Thank you, Senator Hessen. Senator Langford. Mr. Chairman, thank you. Uh, there's several things that we worked on today. Obviously, it was good to be able to see the committee working together so much on so many different bills. of uh, a wide variety of topics on this. I do want to thank Senator Carper's uh, staff and Senator Carper for the work that uh, we did together dealing with the Plum Act. Uh, his team was great to be able to work with, heard our concerns on this, and uh, we were able to address that concern. And uh, so that's the way we should be able to work together on it. Uh, we've also moved a piece dealing with uh, CBP and GSA. Uh, if any of us have been down to the border and be able to visit with CBP in those port facilities, we've seen problems there. They often raise those with GSA. It's a very bureaucratic process to be able to move very minor maintenance issues. Uh, this allows greater flexibility to do some upkeep on those GSA facilities. So I appreciate the committee working on that so much. Uh, we also moved uh, HR 1298 which from Representative Kevin Hearn uh, and myself that actually pulled this together, uh, honoring uh, Technical Sergeant Marshall Roberts, uh, who was killed in Iraq in 2020 on March the 11th. Uh, he was killed by a Katusha rocket fired from Iranian um, militias there in Iraq uh, and was murdered on the spot. So uh, honoring him with that post office was a significant thing for that entire community on this. One of the areas that I was surprised that we did move on today uh, was the issue of DeBester. Uh, the notebook and all of the details that have come in on some of his ex parte conversations and the frequent email dialogue that has occurred saying this is not public yet, but I'm sending this to union representatives. I've sent it to other folks that were currently in front. I can't imagine either side would look at that and say that's good for someone who is in this position to be able to take. So I am surprised that it's moved. Uh, I understand that there is an investigation from the IG that's currently moving. Uh, people can read through the emails as they choose to on their own, uh, but there's ex parte conversations, there's releasing of unpublished information to outside parties that are affected by that. I think that's serious. Uh, there's also Hatch Act issues that are in here that are pretty blatant on their face. Let me just read one of them to you that it's difficult for me to be able to process and say, well, let's just go ahead and move on this. This is from DeBester, was sending this out to leadership of the AFL-CIO and sent this note uh, in uh, September the 17th, 2018, following up on the FLR's, FLRA's imminent closure of our Dallas regional office, particularly in context of my dissent's observation that Texas has the second largest number of federal employees outside of Washington, D.C. Metro, wondering whether this is worth getting to Beto's campaign somehow. I understand that's not the biggest item on his priority list, but it's uh, for the right audiences, it's an issue that could be enlarged to make a meaningful point. Then the response back from the AFL-CIO leadership who responds back, I think informing Beto of our concerns is a good idea. I'll contact his campaign and provide talking points. Can you resend me the talking points? Clearly, this is engagement in a federal campaign from an official task to an outside entity to say, let's work together. I'm going to get campaign talking points to you on an issue that's not public. Uh, again, there are just so many page after page after page of issues that are here. I don't see why we don't pause and to say, why aren't these answered, especially when the FLRA is currently has a quorum, DeBester is already on this board and is there. Why we suddenly have to be able to move this today doesn't make sense to me on this. So I raise that. I understand we've already had the tie vote 7-7, seven to seven, and it's not moved. But that point and many others is why we have concerns and we think they're well-founded. Thank you, Senator Langford. I, I want to uh, first off uh, applaud your leadership on Senate Bill 3903. Uh, you're right about uh, these port facilities. Uh, we do need to, to make improvements, and I, I appreciate your leadership on that. Uh, I would uh, like to add my name as a, as a co-sponsor of your bill, and I will uh, work with you to Glad try to, to. E expedite it through the, the process uh, as well, Senator. Senator, 